everyone welcome back to my channel i am sitting on the floor in a dress so if you see my cooch i'm sorry um my chair broke so yeah my chair that was 200 dollars broke because i sat on it today's video we are actually going to be talking about compression leggings as a lot of you know um i do have a lot of loose skin on my legs <laughs> So I thought I would come on today and talk about my favorite compression leggings. Um, I've worn compression leggings forever, even when I was big. I feel like compression leggings do a way better job at holding in excess fat, excess skin. And not only that, but I feel like they're way more comfortable. To be honest, I very rarely wear any type of pants besides leggings. Why would I? They're comfy. Why the fuck would I wear jeans? But yeah, I figured I would hop on camera, show you guys my favorite ones, and also do a little try-on. Um, I'm actually short on time. I'm filming this section here in my apartment in Toronto, which as you can tell is a fucking mess because I just got back from Southern California and I haven't unpacked. <laughs> Probably won't. <laughs> I will be filming the try-on portion at my parents' house because I'm going to my parents' this weekend. Um, so that's why the ambiance the area has changed so i did want to show you kind of a lot of options across the price spectrum i know some people have more money than others and i know some people enjoy spending more of their disposable income on clothes while others do not and prefer spending on food so my favorite brand for compression leggings is lululemon all my pants are gonna have fucking hair all over them because zach has a dog <laughs> i'm always just full of hair but these are the lululemon wonder underpants hopefully you'll be seeing maybe i should move over no i'm not gonna do that but hopefully you're seeing me try these on these are some of the most um comfortable leggings i have ever tried they are very thin but like not thin to the point that they're see-through like you can tell i have to pull a lot for you to see not really much just the tip of my finger and i will try to remember to do like a squat proof test um, as a runner, honestly, squat proof doesn't really affect me. Like if you squat and, you know, your ass shows, it doesn't really matter because you're not squatting when you're running. So hopefully they are squat proof for the people who are looking for squat proof leggings. But if they're not, I'm sorry. There's not much I can do. These are the 7 8 So in the Wonder Under, you can actually get uh, 7 8 full length, whatever, 7 length, 7 8 I actually bought the 7 8 accidentally and then didn't really notice, but since I'm really tall, these are quite short on me. However, if you are like 5'2", 5'3", 5'4", the 7 8 will probably be like full length on you. But yeah, so these are the Wonder Under... My bra is falling. This is why I hate strapless bras. On to the next, and these are my favorite leggings of all fucking time. Um, these are also Lululemon, and these are the uh, Align pants. So... These, this is like the new version, the new edition. I don't know, the fabric is really nice. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like shiny and beautiful. And in terms of these, I would say that these are much more of a um, like daily pant. Like if you're looking for pants to wear on a daily basis, the compression is enough to like make you feel secure when you're like walking around doing stuff like that. These though, these have way more compression. These are, these will hold you in. And that's what I like to feel like. I like to be fucking held in. I like to feel like... <laughs> These are the full length ones and they just feel fucking amazing. Anytime someone feels them, they're like, wow, those pants feel so nice. And I'm like, that's because they were 108 fucking dollars. But pro tip, <laughs> I know the vast majority of my demographic is in the United States and Zach figured this out and Zach told me. So <laughs> what am I trying to fucking think of? Credit to Zach for telling me this. Um, this isn't my life hack. This is his. Lululemon for whatever reason is the exact same price in the United States and Canada. Um, so like these pants are like $98 in the United States and $98 in Canada. However, the Canadian dollar right now is super fucking shit. So if you're American and you, you know, live in an area where you can easily access a Canadian Lululemon, fucking do it because um, your dollars, like, it, it'll be like 30% off just because our dollar is so shit right now. Um, and then who the fuck doesn't want 30% off Lululemon? I sure do. Okay, on to the next pair. This is the Victoria Sport um, legging and I forgot to put them the other way around. So, and just in case anyone's wondering, I don't know if anyone gives a fuck about the sizes, but for Lululemon, I find that Lululemon are very forgiving. They unfortunately only go up to a size 12, but I could wear the 12 when I was like a 16, 18. Like they are very stretchy. But yeah, I wear an eight, in, I usually wear an eight in Lululemon. These are, like I said, the Victoria's Secret, the Victoria's Sport brand, and I wear these in a medium. Um, and, and the main reason why I tell you guys is because a lot of the time I actually have to wear 
a large in pants because my legs are so long but just in case you're tall as well i wouldn't I don't think you have to size up for these ones um, because they have the good length. These are cool. They got like fucking zoomies on them. So these are definitely much more of an exercise pan. I run in these a lot. Um, I don't know if you can tell. They are gonna hold that motherfucking gut in. Okay, so onto the next pair and no one, no one's gonna be surprised that this made it. Would it be a fucking leggings video if Gymshark did not make the video? You might be surprised by the color of these. <laughs> These are the Vital Seamless Pants. Don't ask me why I bought purple. I also got the fucking top in purple. I literally had a moment where I was like, I'm gonna get purple. And the second they came and I tried them on, I was like, I should have fucking got black. But I mean, I got purple. And the purple doesn't look bad. <laughs> it's just like, obviously, I'm not gonna wear these in my day-to-day -day life. Like you know, when I go to the mall or something. Like these are definitely just for working out. But I really, really, really like the Vital Seamless ones. I actually tried the the first pant that was really popular, the one that like has the butt cut out and like it's supposed to make your ass look all big. Um, and I did not like those at all. I thought they were so scratchy and I thought like Gymshark is all hype. Like these pants fucking suck. Like how, how are people even saying they're comparable to like Lululemon? But um, these ones, these ones are nice, and these ones have a really, really good compression as well. These ones, however, and I find with all Gymshark leggings, I have to size up. So these are a large in Gymshark, and when I first took them out of the package, I was like, those are fucking short, those are capris, but they stretch out a lot, um, and they fit like pants. Yeah, these do a really good job um, when I go running. Running is something, since I have so much lower back skin, I really like to be, like, compressed when I run. Otherwise, I feel the skin like a oh, But yeah, so those are Gymshark. And then the final pair of pants, and these are honestly probably um, the ones I'm most excited to share because these are definitely 100% the most affordable option. And I'm not shitting you, they are very, very comparable to Lululemon. And those, that is the Old Navy Athletic Compression Pants. So these ones, they're looking a bit rough because I've had them forever because they literally last forever. Um, I probably have honestly got at least 10 pairs of these because they go on sale for super fucking cheap. So these are, I actually wore these yesterday so they're not going to be quite as, uh, you know, buoyant or what's that word? Elastic, elasticized, whatever the fuck. But these are phenomenal. The thing I love about, uh, well Navy is they're super size inclusive. They go up to, well there's a plus, people know there's like a plus section. At Old Navy, um, and also they are so inclusive to height. So as someone who's tall, the fact that they have tall leggings, it's like, bitch. Although I will admit the tall ones are actually a bit too tall for me and I can easily fit the regular ones, but they do have a wide spectrum of leggings for different body types, which is something I really admire. And the great thing about these is their price. So regularly they are about, um, I think $30, 30 Canadian. So in the States, I'm sure they're like 22, 24. Yeah, so like around $30 regularly, but never buy them full price because they go on sale so often. And sometimes you can get them for like $12, $12. And these things suck you the fuck in and they have super high waisted. That's something I didn't really mention. I only buy high waisted leggings. I, I am anti low waist anything, okay? They, it just does not fit my body type. It makes me look like I'm fucking preggers. So I'm definitely pro high-waisted pants. Um, but yeah, so these you can get for like $12. They last a very long time. I've never had problems, um, even when I was big, with the insides. Like, you know how like with pants, if your thighs up together, they kind of rip? I didn't experience that. Um, obviously, it has, it has a lot to do with your anatomy. So I don't want to like go in on here and say like, they don't rip on the inside when they probably do for some people but I am a big fan of these and they are super affordable and they suck you the fuck in, which is what I like when I run. Cause as I said, lots of skin when I was big, lots of fat and I just like to feel secure when I'm running. But yes guys, so those are my favorite leggings for compression. Uh, let me know if you like this type of video um, because if you do, I will definitely do like sports bras and compression tops in the future because <laughs> your girl's got some Oh, this dress actually does a really good job at like hiding the fact that I have fucking bat wings. But yeah, definitely let me know because I will do more videos on my favorite compression clothing. Um, and if you like like 
clothing videos. I can also do like athletic hauls and stuff when I buy athletic clothes. But um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely leave any of your recommendations down below because I will definitely check them out. And if I like them, I will include them in a next video. Um, and yeah, so thank you for being here and watching my videos. Okay, bye.